All right, guys, welcome back to another video. And today we're doing another video on the last game board. We've already done an unboxing of this thing. We've done a walkthrough of all the features. And now we're going to be concentrating on doing videos on the different games in the game board to show you guys the unique features, how they actually work, how they perform, and what you guys can expect if you, got a, if you guys get a game like this. Now, remember, this is early beta software, so some of these games may get extra features later on and, and all that kind of stuff. But I am trying to show you the games that look like they're pretty much done as opposed to games that are half done and still waiting on extra features and stuff. So when I do these videos i'll try to show you guys games that are basically look like they're represented and done but just know that since this is a beta things may slightly change in the future of these games but today's video is all about cat lady as you can see here it's a really popular card game out there that a lot of people love and it is for one to four players it is 20 minutes long and as you can see here this is the style of game here and you have all of these different features up to four players and the features of this one just say enhanced touch so let's go ahead and dive into the video Gaming tech, eating brekkie is the gaming tech, going for a brekkie is the gaming tech, gaming tech is the gaming tech, gaming tech. So you can see you got the nice little music here in the background. You got a little achievement area over here. This is pretty cool. It actually lets you unlock achievements as you play. You can see it has a nice little animation as it's scrolling by. All different achievements you may have unlocked. So there you go there. And then you also have the settings icon here in the beginning so you can uh, lower the music. We're going to lower it just a little bit so it doesn't overpower my voice. But you can see here the music here that you can lower. You got the language there in the credits. So we can go ahead and get out of there. Go ahead and hit play. So in this game you can hit the learn how to play but of course we're not going to do that here. Uh, but no, there is a tutorial in the game and then there's also the classic mode So we're just gonna go ahead and hit the classic mode for the time being and then we're just gonna go ahead And it tells you right here in the beginning if you don't see your player card drag your game board draw out a little and get it going in order to ready up So right now the way you do that is you kind of just grab your your uh, player piece right here that I'm signed into and You kind of just drop it so you can see there I am signed in now and we're just gonna go ahead and add a couple of AI players here uh, We'll just add one for the time being you could do up to four if you want you can see you could do easy, medium, or hard when you rotate the AI around on how you want them to act. You can make that player two if you want by clicking on the icon so it's a player two that shows up there. But for right now, we're just going to leave it on easy so you guys can see how this game is actually played. So we'll go ahead and hit play. And here we are here with the set of cards. So for those of you guys who have not played Cat Lady before, this game is really charming and done really, really well on the last game board here on how it was uh, ported over in the feature. So you can see this is your little player drawer here. So there's the other player drawer for the player over there. Obviously, if there was four people playing, there'd be another one over here on each side. And basically what you're trying to do is you're trying to get the most amount of points before the deck runs out. You can see there's 63 cats, cat cards left, and you're trying to have the most amount of points before that ends. You can see on your player drawer here, the different food items at the top. So you got your tuna, you got your chicken, you got your milk, you got the wild cards there, you got the lost card, uh, cat cards, you got the spray, catnip, all that kind of stuff the tours that we're going to be collecting the cats we're going to be collecting the costumes that we have here and essentially what you're trying to do is get the most points by feeding the cats here so you can see if you click on a cat here has a nice little animation that he actually uh does a little cat noise here and you can see how much they're actually worth so you can see that that's worth six points at the end of the game you can see what you have to do is feed him so you got the two tunas that he's looking for and then a milk and you can see other items here too. You got the spray bottle. If you click on it, it tells you what the ability of the card says. It says discard to move the cat token. So this cat token here essentially means that wherever it's pointing, you can't pick that row of cards at the start of your turn. It rotates every turn. And if you had the spray bottle, you can remove it and actually get the cards that you want. Um, then you've got the chicken, the milk. There's the wild card that counts as anything like the milk, the chicken, or the tuna. There's another cat card up there. These are the toys that we're trying to collect. And you can see that the toys are worth more depending on how many you actually have of unique toys. So toy sets are worth 1, 3, 5, 8, or 12 points at the end of the game. Depending on how many unique toys you have at the end of the game. And then over here on the right side is the lost cards, the lost cat cards. So you can see here if you grab this one, uh, you have to get a lost card first before you can actually grab one of these. But then when you do, you can see collect two or more lost cat cards. Lavar is worth four points for each set of black, orange, and white cards you feed. White cats you feed. So they all have a different ability, and these cards rotate and are different at the start of every game, so they're not always going to be the same. Uh, this one says four inches worth two points for each orange cat you feed. So if you have this card here, you might be going after the orange cards in the game because uh, the orange cats in the game, because you know you're going to get two points. Or this one here says unique is worth two points for each white cat you feed in the game. So you can see collect two or more of that. So we started off with three simple ones here. 
Um, so, and like I said, these are unique and they change each game. So let's go ahead and start here. The first thing you do on your turn is you collect whichever you want by picking a row of three cards. So again, this is locked, so this won't work because the lock card is there shaking, telling you you can't do that. We're going to go ahead and select this wild card here with the cat. So I'm going to go this way here. Then the computer will go and it will be their turn. And they're picking their three cards. And you can see how your cards start going. So you can see we both have negative five here. So what happens is, is if you open up this player drawer, you can see that this cat is worth negative two because I haven't fed him yet. So it actively keeps track of points. But as you feed throughout the game, you'll know and you'll get those points back. So right now, if you click on him, since I haven't fed him, like I said, it's worth negative two. We got one point for the toy set because that's our first of a set that we were just talking about before. You can make three different toy sets here. We don't have any costumes, so we have negative two because he has a costume over there. And then we have negative two for costumes as well. So these things are all going to change as time goes on. So you can always pull this drawer up and see what's going on so you know what you need. So we know we need tuna and milk for the time being for the cat that we have. Uh, so we can go ahead and say that we're going to pick up this right here. That is a costume up there. So now you can see we have a costume over here sitting on the right. And you can see how many toys we have and how many cats we have. And these are the number of cards left in the game. So you can see now if we wanted to, for example, we're going to do it just to show you. We have two wild cards here. We don't have any tuna, but wild card is as anything. So the way you feed your cats in the game is you kind of just grab this, put it on the cat. You can see it's now used for the tuna. Go ahead and put another one. Now it's used for the tuna. Go ahead and put the milk that I have. And now he's fed. Now you can see our points went up. We have six points now. Um, and we used all of that. And you could move this out if you want to. A later cat comes into the game. If you want to just drag this back out and not use it, you can go ahead and drag it out. And then you'll lose your points if you want to. But you can go ahead and just leave it there if you want. Uh, so I'm just going to leave it as is. So now we're getting six points for that. We got a toy set worth seven. And then you can see the costume here. We have six points for that as well. It says whoever has the most costumes at the end gets the most amount of points. So right now I have one and he has zero. So right now currently I have six points. But that alters throughout the game back and forth. Um, so let's see what we do next here. We're going to go ahead and get another cat since we did feed the first one. Unfortunately, there is no cat on the board. But we do have another toy that's unique. You can see that this toy is not the same toy that we had before if we scroll through here. Uh, it's a different toy, so I'd be a good card to get. We get more points for that. We have a lost card, so we can grab a lost card, and then we have chicken. So let's go ahead and grab this one here. So on my turn here, I'm going to go ahead and say I want to grab a lost uh, cat card. Since the first cat that we did is uh, a gray cat or a white cat, I'm going to go ahead and look at this one here. You need to collect two, actually. Sorry. So I need another one before I can collect them. It tells you right there. So. Can't collect them yet. This is another unique one. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that one as well. Now I should be able to grab him here. Now you can see you can adopt him. And it says he is worth two points for each white cat. So I'm going to go ahead and concentrate on white cats. I'm going to adopt him for now. You can go ahead and see that. Now I have another cat. My points did go down because, of course, he's not fed yet. He needs milk and tuna. So let's go ahead and go after tuna here. So I can show you how that works there. We can go ahead and exit out of this. The tuna one here. We can go ahead and grab these two. We're going to end up getting a lot of cats here, though. We're going to get some negative points because we got a lot of cats to feed now. But uh, we can go ahead and feed him a tuna. And what's cool is that you can do this as other players are taking their turn, if possible. Um, the board gets a little tight if you're all four trying to pull up your drawer because then the drawers are kind of on top of each other, which is just the unique nature of the game. But it is cool that you can actually just do this just like this and pull this up if you're playing the AI or something. Um, we can go ahead and do that and then we can go ahead and feed this guy with this chewed chicken and the meat so we got him fed so we got 14 points for feeding both of those cat both those cats the last one needs two more tuna so we can go ahead and let's see what we got here uh, we're gonna go ahead and grab this white cat Uh, let's see here. We did got it. We do have a tuna here, so let's go ahead and grab this as well. So this game is really quick. So I am showing you a full entire game here because uh, the game doesn't take that long. Future videos, if the games are obviously like two hours long, when we get into more in-depth games, I'll just be showing you a few different rounds. But uh, for right now, since the game is not too long, we're just gonna go ahead and show you a full game here. I need that tuna really badly, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab that here. Now, if you look over here, you can see we have three tuna. So I'm going to go ahead and feed him three tuna. And we need more tuna over here for the last cat. 
And you can see we have a set of these toys. And then we started another set because this is the same one. We need to have unique sets here. So we have that there. And we see, you can see we're losing the calcium battle now because I have one and he has two now. So we may want to concentrate on that. We have only one catnip. And that's really important because the catnip is neg negative two points if you only have one at the end of the game. However, it's worth two to three points per cat you feed depending on how many you actually have. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and grab this one as well. And we'll grab... Uh, actually, yeah, that's fine. And he left me the tuna, which is fantastic. So I'm going to go ahead and grab these right here, which is great. Open up our, our little cat window again here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and feed that white cat. So that's fantastic. Uh, we have a maximum of eight points. So we're looking for one more toy here that's unique. So we can get the full maximum amount of points here because uh, we have one missing. It's not the yarn because we have that already. Um... And we don't have any other cats to feed right now. So let's go ahead and minimize this. Let's see what we can do here. Let's go ahead and get this toy and start on a second set. And let's go ahead and grab this right here. The game has ended. It says feed your cats because all the cards are now drawn. Uh, in hindsight, I probably shouldn't have grabbed that cat because I knew I had no milk and I didn't grab any milk cards and I didn't realize that the game was about to end. So whatever you don't feed is going to be worth negative at the end for not feeding that cat. So I'm going to lose uh, points for not feeding him. Um, so, which is fine. Um, we have 45 points overall right now. We have all those cats fed, so we don't have really anything else to do. We ended up getting eight points for that. So let's see how this ending finishes here. You can see we have one costume, seven unique toys, six different cats, two catnip, four lost cards, and one of those. So let's go ahead and hit finish here. And you can see we did get first place against the computer on easy. It's going to break down exactly how that all happened. And we can take a look at it. So you can see that I got 45 points and he got 41. So really, really close game. And it kind of breaks down everything you got here. So, so I got negative two here for the food that I had that I didn't use. Uh, that was wasted because you lose points at the end if you have food that wasn't used. And we remember we had that, uh, I believe it was the tuna card that was left over at the end. Then you get points for whoever has the most costumes, like we talked about before. So he got the six points and I got zero because he had three costumes and I had one. Then the catnip gives you points. He had seven, I had five. Uh, and the catnips, I had two. So that gave me five points and he had more points uh, from having three of them, which is good for him. I got more points from having unique toys. So I had 13 points from the toys I collected. He had four. I had four lost cards. He had zero. So they're each worth one point at the end of the game if you don't actually use it to adopt it. An animal so we had four extra ones there so they count as one point each and then of course you get the points from the actual cats at the end uh that they're actually worth like you saw throughout the game where some of the cards are worth six when you feed them in seven and stuff like that so that is essentially a full game of cat lady here i think it looks fantastic on the game board i think they did a really really good job uh, i love the animations and the graphics uh, i love the style of the game this is my first time playing cat lady i don't own the actual physical board game but it looks really nice the animations are great. The sound effects and the cat noises that they all make are really well done as well. Uh, everything is really well done. And the customization they did on the game board to everyone having their own player drawer over here on each side of the board works really well. The fact that we have AIs to be able to play and local multiplayer that you can play with a friend in any combination of AI and local is also great. So this is a really, really good add on the game board. And I haven't found any issues with it, even though, of course, like I said at the beginning of the video, this is a beta. Uh, this game could obviously have some alterations in the future but it seems like it's uh i'm trying to show you guys games that are essentially future future proof where they're mostly complete even though they may add more features later but they look like they're complete and full and and working so this one looks really really good and i'm really really impressed and i can't wait to show you guys the rest of the games because this game with the animation the graphics and the style is, is a really good showcase of what the last game board is doing with these games but this is just scratching the surface guys future games are going to be doing is going to go more into detail on the future uh, games that they may have on here and how they're doing unique things with the game board. Uh, this is obviously just a really simple game. I'm using the touch screen and how it works with having four players around the board, but we're going to be doing future videos on other games that take more advantage of the game board features when it, when it comes to using the companion app and having secret information uh, or cupping your hands, all that kind of stuff. So we're going to be doing a lot more future videos. So stay tuned for that, guys. Any questions you guys have, leave them down below. If not, thank you guys for watching. Until next time. Thank you.